cold somewhere. Yeah. And that's actually good news because that means that there's cold air on the map. It just needs to move a little bit farther south. Maybe, maybe by the end of the seven-day forecast. <laughs> Not right. the beginning. Uh, certainly tomorrow <laughs> is going to be another hot one for us as well. Today, once again, mid-90s. Same story as we go back to work tomorrow. Weather headlines will end the month of September with temperatures, again, well above normal. We're talking about uh, readings about 10 to 15 degrees higher than average. And then a hot start to October on Tuesday. But late week, we do get a cold front and some rain chances back in our forecast. Let's hope we can get some much cooler air in here. I'll show you that seven day in just a couple of minutes. Right now, it's still warm out there, even at 11 o'clock, 83 in Fort Worth. Temperatures will eventually fall into the 70s by tomorrow morning, about 75 if you're out early tomorrow morning for work or school. Partly cloudy skies. Maybe you have the day off headed to the State Fair of Texas. 80 at 10 a.m. when the gates open, but back into the lower to mid 90s during the afternoon. So, yes, it's going to be hot. We'll have still a little bit of a breeze out of the south tomorrow between 10 and 20 miles per hour. Well, we have one more day to go in September, and as we've been talking about, this will be the hottest September on record, the hottest and driest. We only had one day with below normal temperatures, and we've only had a trace of rain at DFW, and I don't expect any more rain tomorrow. So temperatures starting in the mid-70s, back in the mid-90s tomorrow, about 93, 94 for the first day of October, 95 on Wednesday. But as we take a look at the seven-day forecast, how about temperatures that are closer to 90 by the end of the week? That's about as good as we're going to get at this point because that cold air that we see up there in Montana, like I said, it's good news that it's at least showing up. But as it gets a little bit closer to us, it's going to have a hard time making it this far south. So we'll still be a little bit cooler by the end of the week, upper 80s to near 90, and at least a small chance of rain beginning Thursday going through the weekend, next weekend. But I still think we have to wait until the following week, Steve, until we get into some of that true fall air, maybe highs back in the 70s and 80s after next weekend. Oh, we get